I know you like to keep things close, especially the things that you love the most. We yes. did see Adele post a picture this weekend, hold, proudly holding that book up of yeah. yours. So what does that support mean to you? You just really appreciate it. You know, I don't really get into my personal life, but yeah, you appreciate it. You know, it's, it's important to support those who support you and we support each other, so it's great. I read the book in two days. I, I mentioned that to you. It's pretty fast. It, it, listen, I was on planes. I said, let me settle in and read this book. And it's a really good read. I did feel like you didn't leave much on the table. You, probably, you put it all out there. And what was it like when you had to sit down and revisit a lot of memories that most people would consider very painful? Believe memories? it or not, I held a lot back. You did? Oh yeah. I think um, for me, it was therapeutic. It really was. You talked about the fact that you really weren't ever taught to be vulnerable. And you, you said that in the book too. You said that your father didn't prepare you for an intimate relationship. He prepared you for war. Survival, yeah. And you also said that um, in the book, the way you express love can come across as cold or unfeeling. But we see you in a very happy, successful, loving relationship now. So how did you get here? I'm how did you jungle. get to that person? Well, I think just maturity, my maturation, but also the more years you are removed from that concrete jungle, the more you start to open up and you can actually be a person, you know? Like, we wasn't, we wasn't allowed to be probably who you were born to be from that vulnerable stage because your environment shapes you in a different way. Vulnerability wasn't something we was allowed to, to embrace. But I've been pretty vulnerable in, in, this, in this regard and it's been great for me, honestly. Um, it's, I've gotten a lot of feedback from friends all over that said this has been very therapeutic for them. I think one of the stories that, that stood out to me and sat with me was you talked about, number one, why it's hard for you to trust. And you said, when you see your mother walk away holding tighter to some bills than she ever held on to you, something broke in you that you could never repair. Yeah, that was tough. That was tough. Um, and something changed for me at that moment too. Like at six, I, that was one of the moments where I'm not gonna say I was a fully a man yet, but I became more of a man that because I had to exude a certain behavior towards my mom at that time that I had never done before. LeBron wrote the, the foreword of the book. Tough for me to get through. And he talked about, you know, the perception that people have, like that he made you. Mm -hmm. And he said that couldn't be further from the truth. So in your own words, like, just that journey from being a member of his inner circle to now becoming this man that we see. Yeah, well, I don't want to overlook the opportunity because I'm, I'm thankful for that. Like, you know, I think oftentimes people get to a place and it's like, I got here on my own. I didn't get here on my own. I had a ton of people sacrifice, whether it's family, through time, just time. And then obviously, you know, people that support me along the way. For me, I was coming from a place to where it was different because once I got the opportunity, I already knew who I, who I was as a person. I was used to doing things. I was a homeowner, I worked in my dad's store, I had an entrepreneurial spirit. The first line of, of the introduction that, of the book, you write, I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah. So do you still have those pinch me moments, those sit back, like Denzel is your oh. casual friend type of yeah. what is life Well, you gotta moment? understand, for a black man, growing up around the way. That's unfortunately not uncommon. Yeah, and I think when people hear you say that, they, they have this just snarl about it, but it's true. If you have an entrepreneurial spirit in the black community, where's your options? We only was able to turn to what was in front of us that we didn't place there, but that's where we saw an opportunity to gain finance, but that doesn't take away from the genius. There's plenty of geniuses within our community that are comedians, that could be the next you know, tech person, but we didn't have anybody believing in our, our idea. You know, I, I do wonder how this man sitting in front of me did get here, because you wrote in the book, you said, um, you were always the smallest guy in the room ready to take the biggest swing. That was true. I, you know, I was a gambler. My dad taught me how to shoot dice and play cards when I was very young because his reason was, if I was to get laid off, this skill set would get me from between job and job. Right. That was his reason. He had no idea I would be sitting in the seat I sit in today. But 
the gambling aspect of it became my my job. And so I would I was born to bet it all. I would bet it all, you know, on a on a six or whatever the case may be. And that sounds like a book. <laughs> I was born to bet it all. Yeah. But that that mentality stuck with me. Welcome Rich Paul. Welcome, Denzel Washington. How did this come about today to have you here having this conversation with the Boys and Girls Club? Well, I always dreamed of being a co-star with him. Okay. That just didn't work out. <laughs> nah, I think uh, We just, couldn't afford you. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't afford you. Just, you know, just through a relationship. Um, you know, we sit close to each other at the, at the Laker game, so we always talk ball. And then... Um, you know, just through that, you know, kept in touch. And so, you know, just it's just organic, very natural thing. Yeah, you said it when you were talking to the kids, like you don't do this for everybody. You you got a lot that you could be doing. So why did you say, yeah, I'm gonna come over here. I don't do it for everybody. I'm not asked, first okay. of all. <laughs> plain as that. Yeah, plain simple, simple. Yeah, plain and simple. <laughs> but uh, this was a, you know, I wanna be here and I'm glad I am. You believe in what he's saying and his message and and kind of who he's being in this world. I believe in the Boys and Girls Club. I know what it's done for me. Uh, I believe that this is a story that should be shared. I'm, I'm glad in, in any kind of way to be, be a part of sharing it. I think it's, it's important. I think what happened today is what, what it's really all about. And uh, for these young people to look at someone like Rich and go, hey, if he can do it, I can do it. When you looked out at these faces tonight, did it take you right back to, to that kid, kid in Cleveland? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. And I think that um, a lot of times he's, it's just so important to be an example and for these kids to have positive examples. Why do you think it's important for them to read this book and hear a story like Rich's. Well, I'm glad they got to hear it first, to see him in the flesh, yeah. to go, oh, okay, that's a guy who does, they say he does these things, and he's here, and we're here to see him, and he's some big shot, and now they can go take the book home yeah. and go, oh, wait a minute. Mom might have been like my mom, or his dad, you know, or whatever the, wherever the common, you know, common denominator in. Um, the club was a steadying force in your life, but Rich, you didn't have an outlet like this. You didn't have a boys and girls club, really. So what do you attribute your perseverance to? My dad's store was my boys and girls club. Yeah, I was going to say, you okay. did that. Yeah, yeah, you okay. definitely okay. had a club. Yeah, my dad's <laughs> he ran the club. Yeah. <laughs> my, dad, my dad's store was definitely my boys and girls club. It wasn't no, no basketball court in there, but but we had the video games. It wasn't just and, boys and girls. And it wasn't just boys and girls either. It was a lot going on, but, but, but that's how I grew up. It raised me.